Hello students. Hope you all are doing well and are safe and sound at home. Today you will be learning about rotation in math. Rotation is the movement of a geometric figure about a certain point. Rotation can be clockwise or anticlockwise. You all know how the hands of the clock move. Clockwise rotation is the one when an object moves in the same direction as the clock's hand. Let's take an example. I have taken this color pencil which I am going to place. Imagine that this is the hour or the minute hand of a clock. How, in what direction do the hands move? They move in this direction. The hands, they move in this direction. So when an object rotates in the same direction as the hands of the clock move, it is known as clockwise rotation. Anticlockwise rotation is just the opposite. If this object rotates in this direction, it will be known as the object is rotating anticlockwise. Let's take a few other objects and see and try and rotate them clockwise and anticlockwise. Let me take this paintbrush. So if I keep it here and I try to rotate it this way, what kind of Rotation is this, clockwise or anticlockwise? You are right, this is clockwise rotation. And if I rotate this paintbrush in this direction, it will be anticlockwise rotation. The rotations can be calculated as quarter turn, half turn or full turn. Let's try and understand what each of them means. I am going to get this color pencil back and place it here. Let's try and understand what do you mean by quarter turn. You all know the meaning of the word quarter. I have taken this circle and I have divided into it into quarters. That means it's divided into four parts. If I ask you to rotate this pencil clockwise quarter turn, it will be, so we know that starting from here, the next, the quarter will be here. If we rotate it clockwise so I'm taking my pencil color pencil and I've rotated it quarter turn clockwise if I tell you to turn it quarter turn anti-clockwise you need to first try and understand will I take it this way or this way the question stated that you need to move it anti-clockwise anti-clockwise is this turn and the quarter will come till here. So my quarter turn anti-clockwise will stop over here. If I place my pencil this way and I tell you to rotate it clockwise quarter turn, I'm going to continue it moving like this. How about the anti-clockwise quarter turn? It'll go this way and it'll be back in the first position. I hope you're clear. Let's try and understand what do we mean by half turn. Just as you all know what quarter is, I'm sure you know what you what do we mean by half. I have divided this circle into halves. And if I place this color pencil here and I tell you to rotate it half turn clockwise. So your first step will be trying to understand whether I have to rotate it clockwise or anticlockwise. The question states clockwise rotation and I need to rotate it half. So I'm taking this circle and clockwise half turn rotation will be like this. Anti-clockwise half turn rotation will be just the opposite. I'm going to move it in this direction because it's anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise half turn rotation. Are you clear guys? Alright. The last type of movement or the rotation is full turn. Full turn is the easiest. All you need to understand whether you have to rotate it clockwise or anti-clockwise. Here, the, if I tell you to rotate it clockwise full turn, what direction are you going to go? This way or this way? You are right, we are going to rotate it over here. Just as the same way the hands of the clock move. So this is clockwise full turn. Now, clockwise, anti-clockwise full turn will go like this. I want you all to try quarter turn, half turn and full turn using different objects at home. 
I have certain objects here with me and I'm going to try to rotate them. Let's see. Let me take this pen for an example here. Half turn anti-clockwise. Come on, do it with me. Half turn anti-clockwise will be in this direction. What if I tell you to rotate this sharpener? Quarter turn clockwise. Come on, try. Check whether you've got it correct. Clockwise quarter turn will be like this. All right, and the last one, I have this staple pin box. If I tell you to rotate it anti-clockwise full turn, how will it move? Check whether you have got it correct. Anti-clockwise full turn and it will be back in its original position. So students, I hope the concept of rotation clockwise, anti-clockwise is clear with you. Stay safe. Bye-bye.